in Song of Songs, chapter seven. How beautiful, and this is still under the lover, how beautiful your sandaled feet, O prince's daughter. Your graceful legs are like jewels, the work of a craftsman's hands. Your navel is a rounded goblet that never lacks blended wine. Your waist is a mount of wheat encircled by lilies. Your breasts are like two fawns, twins of a gazelle. Your neck is like an ivory tower. Your eyes are the pools of Heshbon by the gate of Bath Rabin. Your nose is like the Tower of Lebanon, look toward Damascus, looking toward Damascus. Your head crowns you like Mount Carmel. Your hair is like royal tapestry. The king is held captive by its tresses. How beautiful you are and how pleasing. O oh, love, with your delights, your stature is like that of the palm and your breasts like clusters of fruit. I said, I will climb the palm tree. I will take hold of its fruit. May your breasts be like the clusters of the vine. The fragrance of your breath is uh, the fragrance of your breath like apples, and your mouth like the best wine. <laughs> this is getting serious right here. <laughs> Let's continue, beloved. May the wine go straight to my lover. <laughs> flowing gently over lips and teeth. I belong to my lover, and his desire is for me. Come, my lover. Let us go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded, if their blossoms have opened, and if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my lover. So, <laughs> it's getting more in-depth. <laughs> it's getting more intimate. Um, and so, just, okay, so... That it goes back to the saying, you know, when two become one um, under uh, in a relationship where two uh, in particular, where two become one and they yearn for each other and long for each other and love each other. They love each other, love as themselves and love of that person because that person has made you feel special, made you feel in a certain way, includes, of course, love with attraction, of course, and and having that intimacy, the touching, the feeling, the kissing, the um, downright comes to it, the intercourse portion of it, sex. It is a gift from the Lord. It is a gift from God. I know. I know. I know. I can't. It's like, wow. Oh, you mean it was created? Yes, it was created. The Lord said, look. It's okay because, for one, can be used utilized in different for different things, <laughs> including procreation. <laughs> I mean, I, and thus you know I came to be because uh, things have happened, <laughs> and so uh, each one of us, and it, it gives you. It gets you that sense that, wow, all of this is in the Bible? Yes, all of this is in the Bible. And so the intimacy as well. Um, it can give people a little bit, you know, like shyness too. Get a little bit of redness. <laughs> and it's okay, though. It's okay. It's meant to understand that it's okay to have those feelings. So you may think, because some people do, they think that, oh my gosh, I got so intimate. I got so into uh, whatever, the intercourse or whatever. <sighs> I, that, that's, I don't know if that, it's a gift. It is a gift. It, 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 love is love. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. So we look at it as two people in love, infatuated with each other, 
describing, instead of just being all physical, they're also describing. They're also having a conversation, telling each other, complimenting each other, and not only complimenting, but listening to each other and then taking it in and accepting it. So we have to see all aspects of a relationship. And so it is being truthful to each other. It is being loving to each other and then being reciprocal, understanding it, accepting it and giving it back. That is all part of a relationship. And you talk or you think about in our lives having successful relationships. You know, there are ups and downs. Look at Job. There are ups and downs in a relationship. However, uh, looking at that, there's also always ways to maintain and grow and um, and thrive in a relationship. It doesn't always have to be on the down, down and down. It can always come back up. It can always come back up. And, and look to the Lord. Look to the Lord for guidance because he's there. Read his word. See the intimacy of his word. See how it's okay to express those feelings. And it's okay to have feelings in our lives. And it's okay to also um, want to spread the Lord's gospel where the Holy Spirit deems and puts it into your heart. Hey, say God bless you. May uh, Jesus loves you. May the Lord comfort you today. May the Lord with, be with you today. The Lord loves you. Amen and hallelujah. It's love. Express it. And it's okay. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?